So hello everyone. Right now I'm just gonna use my setting spray. And this is the complete look. It is a nice color for springtime. It has fuchsia, blue, and purple together. Plus, you know, last liner, I put like this super kind of um blue color and I said that. But as and the color is great. With this mask color called for a future. It is a nice pinky color which complements pretty well the entire look over here. So swatches and lip um review coming soon from this month's LA colors. But right now I'm focusing in this look over here, which is great for a spring. Recently, I got a new uh, really expensive palette, which is this one, LA Colors, 30 Colors Eyeshadow Palette. And I guess I can do a lot of colors here for a springtime, a lot of, you know, looks I might say. Because you have a lot of colors for springtime. And first, this first look I did was with this corner over here, which is a fuchsia color, purple color, blue color, all together. Pretty nicely. And it has this green teal color which is great for tutorials this has this one yellow which is gonna be in future tutorials this one has green and orange together and basically all the entire palettes is green a spring time so that's why I brought you today the first look the first look guys so make sure to subscribe down below so you get notified when I upload a new look with this palette the first look is the fuchsia purple color and blue undertones which is great together guys this is amazing tutorial for a spring times from but the leads are future um and they look pretty awesome as well so um, to for more details about what i use in this video please continue watching make sure you subscribe if you love me comments thumbs up as well and i will see your lovely amazing faces in my next video please enjoy this one Mwah. so let's start priming my eyes So I'm just gonna put this little primer that I just always oh, finishing already, but it's the one I'm using right now. And I'm gonna apply my eyes just a little bit. It's up to you what you want to do. <coughs> so with this fuchsia over here, I'm just gonna apply all over my eyes. That will be covered with this nice fuchsia color. I always use my fingertips; they are great and catch a lot of products. <laughs> so I'm making sure all my eye left is covered with this beautiful fuchsia color so I just need going back in it and putting more powder onto it's perfect now with a nice brush that I can contour my crease and grab a lot of color, I'm just gonna apply this purple color in my crease and I'm gonna start contouring that area. <coughs> This blue color is great for the outer corner, so that's why with this nice brush, I prefer using this small brush. This one looks like a little small brush, almost the ones that you use to fill out your brows. This ones are great for the outer corner. It's I never find it more easier since I bought this little brush set over here. I found it much more easier than before that I used to before. Those brushes were not good for the outer corner. That was using my tip of my finger. But this one over here is alright, so I'm glad I grabbed this brush and can find it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm so like. <coughs> so, um, with this strawberry blue, 
is going to go in my waterline. And this white color is going to be in my my brow bone. <clears throat> so now with a small brush, I'm just going to fill out my brows with just a brown color. I'm so sick. I just put me in the clip and sucking on this salt. This sounds so sick. Sorry about that. Um, this mascara is gonna be in my uh, my lashes. They're gonna be full in the audience and pretty dark. So it's great for uh, my eyes. I'm just gonna try to dress them both. This one and the other one when I finish doing my other eye. So this thing over here is great for contouring, uh, the highlighter is not so much a highlighter, I'm say that it's more like a blush, I try to use this as a highlighter, but it's not. So just use it as a blush. But this contouring powder over here, I like it, it's pretty natural and contours the halos up my cheeks pretty well, so I love this. So, um, to get a nice contour, you don't have to spend too much. Just this brand's like fine, pretty affordable makeup. And they're awesome. Some of these brands are pretty affordable and uh, they don't give me any irritation unless you're pretty sensitive. You can go with the high end product. But if you're not that sensitive, you can use basically early colors from the store and some Mika K. They're great. They have great reviews, especially early colors. In you too like they have a foundation that's pretty affordable and a lot of girls like it so make sure to check out really affordable products as well in the store this blush is a nice pinky blush <clears throat> and contour uh, for highlights I'm just gonna use another highlight that I have in my collection but <clears throat> I just starting blending out everything cuz like I said this highlighter that he has in here is more like blush I've noticed so I'm just gonna go back in my other skin tone highlighters and try to highlight all over my face right now basically what I'm just doing is blending everything so I'm just gonna apply some of this rainbow highlighter cause yeah to have like a more highlighting effect to my face so that's why I'm doing that So now I'll finish the other eye and I'm just applying this white powder because I want to eliminate the under I already did my brows from the other side too so my folks eyes are complete so now it doesn't look that weird with both eyes complete so with this uh, skin color highlighter I'm just gonna apply where I always do my sheen I'm gonna use that rainbow highlighter in my sheen I'm gonna just like a disco ball so I just grabbing this skin tone highlighter and applying um, the rest of my face So with this mascara, I'm just gonna go in the next eye to get value and blend. And why not maybe some more in the other side And this is gonna fit my both of my eyes uh, to see that both are contouring the crease pretty nicely and pretty gorgeous. So this looks like a unicorn makeup over here it's super nice this is like a cupcake pink and it's pretty nice I thought it's a little dry in your list on my set so I'm not thinking I like this 
matte liquids because there's other early colors that are more, you know, more creamy. But overall, it's a nice color and I think a color that complements pretty well the look they already did. This, this one is called Forever Fuchsia and it's that. <clears throat> It matched pretty well with the rest of the colors, it has blue undertones and purple undertones. So as you can see, it's not all the lip future. So once we have all the colors combined together, then we can put a fuchsia color in my lips and it will not look weird. So and it will be matching pretty well. So here's the complete look. I love everything that I do in here. It looks pretty gorgeous and those lips look super amazing. So this fuchsia color with this purple and blue colors together, see how they contrast pretty well. They freaking amazing. They look freaking gorgeous in your eyes. OMG, I love it.